All right, welcome back everyone. We've got another one here from GearBest.com. I'll have a link in the description down below as always if you guys want to pick this one up. But this one uh, drew my attention and I haven't really seen any reviews on it, at least last time I checked. So anyways, this is the S9 uh, little mini folding drone. Um, as you can see, it looks like a little DJI Spark, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, everyone seems to be kind of copying that design, but um, these really uh, did it uh, very well because they've got the different colors like the DJIs, and I just thought that was kind of cool, kind of a nice little novelty to have a little, a little, um, you know, pocket-sized uh, little, uh, you know, Spark clone. So pretty cool. Anyways, it does have a a, uh, a camera up front. I believe it's a 0.3 megapixel, so don't expect any professional video footage. This is just for fun, indoor flying, um, Wi-Fi FPV. Um, you do have foldable arms on this one, so that's kind of nice because um, then you can really throw it in your pocket. I mean, look how small that is. You can put that right in your pocket and take it with you. Um, it does have uh, your built-in uh, LiPo on this one. I couldn't find anywhere what size the LiPo is. I'm sure it's probably a two or 300 milliamp, probably nothing too big. Um, and I'm sure it's a one cell lipo and then on the side of the craft you also have an on and off switch too Which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of little quads don't and I wish more did but this one does so that's that's a plus plus. Um, and then you do have some nice LEDs You got blue on the front and red in the back. So just like I like it uh, which is pretty good and then um, you do have uh, uh, Kind of these little landing feet to kind of give some clearance. So so those are pretty nice Okay, so just going over the transmitter here, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, we've got our flips up top, on the top left are going to be our rates, so hopefully there's three rates. No clicks on these sticks. Obviously this one is altitude hold as it centers out, so it's going to keep its altitude, which makes it great for beginners. And then of course you've got your pitch and your roll, and then of course your yaw. Um, over here on the right you're going to have your forward trim, back trim, left trim and right trim. Top left is going to be one key return, then you're going to have headless mode, and then these two buttons are for auto takeoff and auto launch, or auto land rather. So auto takeoff, auto land, and of course our power switch. And then also um, to reset the gyros, you're going to put both sticks um, to the bottom left corners and to the bottom right corners to reset everything. So if it's flying a little off, and then also to turn off and on the motors manually, you're going to pull the sticks to the outer corners to turn them on and push them in towards the center to turn them off. So let's go ahead and take it up um, for a little flight. So you're going to want to download the BJ-UFO app if you have the Android. There is a, a QR code on the box and in the instruction manual as well uh, where you're going to want to do that. And of course you do have the USB charging uh, cable, extra set of props, and a screwdriver along with a screw. Um, that's going to mount to the back of this and you'll need three triple a batteries for this transmitter so we're going to go ahead and turn the quadcopter on with the little power switch on the side with uh, putting its orientation that way as we turn it so we'll we'll try that headless mode to see how that works we're going to turn our transmitter on and we're going to throttle up and down now we're bound so we've got solid leds um, we're going to go into the wi-fi settings of your device and then you're going to want to select the uh, drone so there it is BJ dash N E whatever so we're gonna connect it and no you don't have to have internet in your you know where you're flying you're just connecting to the crafts Wi-Fi that it outputs from the from the actual drone itself so it looks like it should be connected there so now we're gonna go to the BJ UFO app we're gonna hit open we're gonna open that app and then hopefully we should get hit the play here and then we should get video feed from the craft and yep there it is so there is our video feed it actually has a really decent camera considering of course this is Wi-Fi uh, not too laggy uh, this does not have a wide-angle lens on it so you I don't think you're really gonna be doing any FPV flying straight from the phone unless you have a really really open space like a gymnasium or something you're gonna fly in uh, but there's Abby <laughs> anyways Daisy. I'm sorry Daisy and, uh, anyways, um, and then you've got, uh, of course, your recording features here and pictures. So let's take a couple pictures so you guys can see what that looks like. There is one, and it just saves directly to your phone. It doesn't, uh, there's no SD card in the quad copy. <coughs> so you're going to get whatever FPV feed, um, that's what you're going to record. And then we're going to video record now. And let's go ahead and take it up, and we'll do the auto takeoff. There it goes. <coughs> and this one does have altitude hold. So it's going to hold its position and let's see how it does. <coughs> see if it needs some trimming. Looks 
like to the right a little bit. And maybe a little forward. All right, so just gonna fly it around a little bit and see how she does. So nice and peppy in the low rate. Let's check out the yaw on it. Very docile yaw. And let's go ahead and see if we can bump up the rates. So there's two. Yeah, definitely got quicker. I would definitely say this is an awesome, this is going to be an awesome little indoor flyer for this winter time. It's already frigid outside. I'm not going to even attempt to try to fly it out there because my hands are going to freeze and the wind's going to take it. So... We're not going to even try that right now. And let's see if it's got a third rate. Oh, you know what? Let's try the yaw on the second rate. Eh, I don't think it really got that much faster. Let's see if there's a third rate. Top left. And there is a third rate, so that's awesome. Way more sportier. Whoa! Yeah, it's definitely more sportier. Let's see how this thing feels in the air. Whoa! I would say the yaw, it could use a little more yaw. The yaw did not get any faster. Let's see how it flips does. So we're gonna hit the top right on the transmitter and we're gonna give it direction. Awesome, nice little flips. Doesn't lose a lot of altitude, so that's good. It's a good flipper. And the FPV feed is pretty decent as well. So I'll put that on the screen so you guys can see. I'm sure it's, it's not gonna be timed perfectly because these Wi-Fi ones usually are timed a little off. I'm gonna try to f. No, this is this is the the camera lens is way too narrow to try to FPV this guy. Uh, for when I say that, I mean first person view flying. Uh, if you're like I said, if you're outside or in a big area, you'd be okay. But this narrow lens is really just to line up the shot. You're not gonna want to do anything that crazy. So let's try the one key return. So I headed, I took off this direction. So what that is is if you lose orientation and you can't figure out you know how to get your quad back, then you can hit that button, which is right on the transmitter, so let's see if it comes back towards me. Nope, that was the that was the one key to, uh, landing. My mistake, that's the top button, so let's try it again. So one key return, yep, come back in your general direction. And the headless mode, which is the one right below that one, on the left side of the bank of switches, so we're gonna hit that one. So I can see the lights flashing, and now whatever orientation I turn it, it doesn't matter, it's always away is gonna be away, Power's gonna be forward. Oh, and we crash. So it does work. I'm, I'm not a big headless mode person, but let's go ahead and take it back up. We'll take out a headless mode here, and we'll do the manual launch. Uh, so again, sticks to the outer corners. And that starts the motors up, and then of course, yeah, you put them in the both corners of the interior inside of the transmitter, but. It's a nice little sporty little flyer. FPV feed is pretty decent. Like I said, you're not gonna you're not gonna be doing any FPV flying straight because the, the camera lens is too narrow. But the uh, the latency of the video feed is not bad at all. That's for sure. So we're just gonna fly this thing around and see what kind of flight time we get out of this. So excuse my mess. Um, we're doing some moving around here. So we got stuff a little bit everywhere, but just see how this thing flies. I wish the yaw was just a little quicker, but it's not bad. As long as you got some space, it's got good power. Nice little DJI clone looking little pocket drone. This is a lot of fun. It's got a good feel to it. Nice little toy. Whoa! I must feel like it's too fast. All right, now we're in low rate. You gotta be careful with that altitude hold. Now the lights are flashing, so I think we might be out of uh, battery here. Let's see, we're just gonna take it and see if it auto lands itself. We still got some flight. A good flipper, nice little smooth little flyer. Looks really cool in the air. Isn't that, isn't that neat? Just a little drone, little tiny brushed motors. Oh no! I saved it. Look, no prop cards and it didn't crash. That's pretty cool. And that's straight up hit that brick. 
Whoa! Oh! Oh! It spoke too soon. The lights are still flashing, but it still acted like it, it wasn't sagging. So let's see if we can take it back up. Oh, I think one of our props are hitting something. I think one of our props got bent. Oh, yeah. So we're just going to bend that out a little bit. That's an easy fix. Good thing they give you extra props. I could see going through these props pretty quickly. Whoa! <laughs> well, that didn't work. I think we need to reset the gyros. So we're going to take them. Let's see here. Gonna put, oh, the prop actually broke. Oh, let's flip out this prop here. We'll be right back. Yes, go. All right, so we're going to reset the gyros here. We're going to do both six to the bottom left corner and to the bottom right. All right, we reset them, and let's take it back up. So I broke a prop on that one, that last crash. So it's a good thing they give you extras. And it's flashing. Oh, I don't care. Well, all that effort, and it was done flying. I figured it was, but uh, I figured I'd try to give it a shot. But nonetheless, that's, that's why it's awesome that they give you extra props. I like this little flyer, you know? It's a nice little toy, and they, they also have a non-Wi-Fi version, so if you just want a nice little indoor flyer, I think you can have a lot of fun with that. And I really dig that it looks like a little DJI. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to pick it up. Again, thanks to GearBest for sending this to us for review. So, we'll see you on the next one. Happy flying life.